Green, the majority of Portland City Council is pushing to dissolve the Homeless Response Action Plan Agreement with Multnomah County. This comes just more than 100 days after the plan went into effect. Fox 12's Mackenzie Richmond joins us live. Mackenzie, the push to end this agreement, I think people are finding this a bit of a shock. What's going on? Yeah, it's definitely come as quite a shock to those who oppose dissolving the plan as the new city and county plan to combat homelessness actually just went into full effect in mid-July. So just over 100 days ago, as you mentioned, and now just as of last week, they got some feedback on the latest of this plan, and they noticed that it's making a largely positive impact. Thus far, according to the Homelessness Response Dashboard, since January, the system has sheltered or placed almost 7,000 people in housing, which is about 37 percent of their goal of nearly 19,000 by December of next year. But yesterday, Portland Commissioner Renee Gonzalez, Mingus Maps, and Dan Ryan asked the city to dissolve the agreement, saying the city and county's goals differ. It seems to me like the county is not in the business of necessarily moving people from the streets into shelter, but rather maybe um, preventing people from falling into houselessness in the first place, which is an important uh, mission, um, that's for sure. But I'll tell you, I don't think anyone who sits in these chairs is ever going to be viewed as a success until we systematically... Uh, reduce the absolute number of people who uh, sleep on our streets every night. City Attorney Robert Taylor said he could actually draft up an ordinance for the city to leave the intergovernmental agreement with Multnomah County, adding he could set up a vote on the matter within just several weeks. But not everyone is on the same page. Mayor Ted Wheeler was not at the meeting, but issued a statement on social media saying ending the agreement would be short-sighted. And, quote, the city cannot address this crisis alone and we should not abandon our progress. Multnomah County Board of Commissioners Chair Jessica Vega Peterson also pointed out that the three commissioners leading the charge to end the agreement are all running for mayor. And she says this might be a political move instead of a move that's in the best interest for Portland's future. Now, as of right now, nothing is set in stone, but with three commissioners in support of walking away, the vote would likely succeed. However, it would take 90 days after the vote for the partnership to be completely voided. And before then, Portland would, of course, have already sworn in new council members and elected a new mayor. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated as this all develops. Reporting live, Mackenzie Richmond for Good Day Oregon.